Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and oh my gosh, I am so excited. We are on a roll. I am doing another reaction video today because you guys love them so much. And we are going to be reacting to another 4C hair video. This time though, we've got a celebrity in the building. It's not only TikToks we review. Sometimes we review celebrities, okay? So if you guys don't know, I have an entire playlist reacting to 4C hair TikToks and other just 4C hair videos as well. So if you guys wanna binge watch those playlists or those videos, you can watch them up here or I'll link them down in the description box. And also if there are any videos that you ever find on the internet and you're like, whoa, I want Chizzy to review this, DM me y'all, slide into my DMs and just DM me so I can be staying on the interwebs, okay? If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as always. And if you're not already subscribed, come on, man. Come, man, I just, I keep saying it. Just subscribe, it is free. <laughs> so today's video we're gonna be reacting to Sky Jackson's natural hair wash day on YouTube so Sky Jackson is a Disney star and actress she has natural hair she has gorgeous beautiful hair she's talked about her hair a few times and I believe there was some like conversation about whether her hair was 4c or not because she categorizes her hair as 4c and I guess some people feel like it's not so let's watch it let's see what she does in her during her natural hair routine and let's see so as you can see, my hair looks really crazy right now. It literally has ounces and ounces of got to be gel and glue on my hair. Literally, my hair cannot come up. I know her hair is hard as a rock, okay? Because got to be, baby, it will slick it. It will be feeling like concrete. So I tried to do this tutorial before, but it just didn't work out. So I'm going to show you everything I do. At the end, um, you're not going to see me do like my protective style because I have my mom do it because honestly I still struggle with my hair. I have 4C hair, my hair is really thick, I have a lot of it. Also, my hair is shorter because I did cut it a month and a half ago. Okay, so there's a lot of explanation so I'm just going to fast forward to the actual parts. Also, side note, I think her accent is so cute. <laughs> I actually, I don't know how old Sky Jackson is now. How old is he? But in my mind, she's still a child. So I guess seeing her as a teenager now, it's like, who are you talking to like that? Like, my mom is in his way. Who are you talking to? Oh, she's 18. Wow. Yeah, she's a child. I remember when I was 18. Like, look at me calling people a child. Not a child. Anyway, let's fast forward. So I'm going to take this water. And I probably will have to use a conditioner. And you're mainly gonna get it on your scalp, but I have to loosen my hair up because like I said, it's been gelled down for some days. Okay, so it looks like she's spraying water on her hair and it looks like she sectioned off her hair into separate sections, which we always recommend as a natural because you know, our hair is thick. There's a lot of it. Also, because of the curly texture, it can be hard to get all the hair at once. So you want to split it up so you can actually like get every strand. So that's great. And then she's also spraying water on each section to loosen up the hair, which also makes sense. I honestly should not have left this ponytail on my hair for that long, but it's whatever, it's fine. And I'm probably, I'm just gonna use um, conditioner Okay. Because I don't want to break my hair off. And my hair is shedding a lot because it has not been combed in days and days and days. So if you guys are like, why is your hair shedding so much? Okay, I'm glad she said she's gonna use conditioner just because she's basically essentially doing a pre poo right now, which is you know trying to detangle your hair, just loosen your hair up in preparation for shampoo. But she was only using water for this period of time, so I was a little scared. I said, What are you gonna put on the hair so you can you know so it can be softer and then so you don't experience breakage? But she said she's gonna use conditioner, so that's great. specialize in natural hair black hair have told me I do have 4c the front of my hair is softer than the middle for sure so the middle is more coarse the front is more soft and you know easier to comb through okay so she did you know obviously you just heard her mention how a, a lot of people say her hair is not 4c she feels like it is she said that the front of her hair is softer that may be true she her the texture of her hair in the front may be different from the middle in the front maybe it's more fine it feels and appears softer but in terms of the curl pattern of the front of the hair hair that she's 
brushing through definitely doesn't look 4c definitely looks like a looser curl pattern however i i'm gathering from what i'm seeing and what i'm hearing it sounds like it's the middle of her hair that's 4c and then the rest may be a slightly looser curl pattern so i'm sure more will come out once i'm in the shower i'm sure this is just the first part of detanglage that i'm doing so now what i'm gonna do is i am going to wash my hair so i'm gonna get the shampoo in there scrub my scalp scalp really good i'm going to probably use this conditioner just to comb my hair out while i have the shampoo in it just so it doesn't make the rest of my hair drier that's interesting so she mentioned that she's gonna shampoo her hair but then while the shampoo's still in her hair she's gonna add conditioner into the shampoo just so that her hair doesn't get super dry or super stripped from the shampoo that is interesting i've never heard of that or tried that myself let me know in the comment section if you guys have ever done that as well that's interesting <laughs> that's very interesting a part of me feels like it's smart it makes sense but then a part of me is also like well i mean you're gonna condition anyway right after and what's the point of putting conditioner on top of shampoo because the shampoo's still there so it's like you might as well just rinse the shampoo and then put the conditioner on but everyone has their thing and whatever makes sense to them and if that makes sense to her honey bunch do what you'd like and you dry a little bit just so it's less watery so everything can soak in I'm gonna take my oil, my Her hair is so beautiful. It is so juicy. Gosh, I'm sorry. I just love seeing natural hair. It is natural. It looks so good. She put oil. She's putting oil on her hair before the conditioner and then she's gonna deep condition. I do this sometimes too. A lot of people wonder because the oil is meant to seal, so putting oil and then a conditioner on top, some people are like, what's the point of that? Because deep conditioner is not going to penetrate the strands. You could look at it like that, but if you're using a lighter oil that does penetrate the strands and then um, putting a conditioner on top, I just kind of feel like it's double action. You're getting basically a hot oil treatment and then you're deep conditioned at the same time. I will show you guys when we're halfway done and then the final product soon. Okay, so I'm all done. The products I use for my twists out are Melanin by Whitney. I love her products, you can tell because they're almost out. I also use her oil. Her Instagram is natural85 and she's amazing. And also this hair oil for my scalp, which my mom made. It's a mixture of a bunch of amazing oils. I'm gonna put my bonnet on and I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna let it air dry because it's not good to put a bonnet on right away. And then after I let it air dry, I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you guys right before I go to bed. All right, well, that was so cute first off. I think Sky is, is just really cute. I can see where the discrepancy comes to play when it comes to her hair type. Couldn't really see the whole thing, so I'm not sure. However, from the clips that I did see of her detangling her hair, it does look a little bit looser. I'm sure she does have 4C curl patterns throughout her hair. She does have really long hair, and as y'all saw, she I think she split her hair into six sections because the longer your natural hair gets during wash day, it is gonna be easier for you to section off your hair first and then wash your hair and in sections. It's just, it's, it's, yeah. And then in terms of her time it takes for her to wash her hair being four hours, I'm trying to think if it takes me four hours. No, it doesn't take me four hours, but also <laughs> my hair is half her length. So <laughs> um, I get that as well. It's a struggle, honestly. We're just gonna have to let Sky Jackson rock, okay? The thing about this though is I feel like most times if your hair isn't generally 4C, like if it's not almost majority 4C, I think 
it's just better to just type just you know maybe title the video my type 4 natural hair just because it's broad and then it also kind of encompasses all the textures that you have it's just a suggestion if maybe someone like a celebrity you know create content and they don't really know what to type their hair or they have multiple textures I would just say type 4 or type 3 you know either way lovely girl lovely routine <laughs> let me know you guys' thoughts are there do you guys have any like objections or do you agree with her routine how do you feel about people coming at her for her hair type let me know your thoughts below and if there's any other celebrities routines that you guys want me to react to make sure to just dm me like i'm always open to suggestions anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed subscribe please all right and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye y'all